Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala nabiyyina Muhammadin Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in Amma ba'd fa'audhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahi wa rahman ar-rahim Rabbish rahli sadri Wa yasir li amri Wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqa'u qawli Rabbi zidni ilman Ajma'in insha'Allah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We will do our pronoun drill uh, three times, inshallah. Ready? Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu. Huwa, huma, hum, Hiya huma hunna Anta antuma antum Anti antuma antunna Ana nahnu One more time Huwa huma hum Hiya huma hunna Anta antuma antum Anti antuma antunna Ana nahnu MashaAllah Now brothers and sisters I wrote down the verb Dakhala what is the meaning of Dakhala? He entered. But in the dictionary you will find to enter. But actually it is he entered. Because he is hidden inside. The file is hidden inside. Ready brothers and sisters? How will you conjugate? Dakhala, Dakhala, Dakhalu, Dakhalat, Dakhalata, Dakhalna, Dakhalta, Dakhaltuma. Dakhaltum, dakhalti, dakhaltuma, dakhaltunna, dakhaltu, dakhalna. MashaAllah. See, when we do in sequence, it's easy. But then we are going to practice. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Huwa, dakhala. Okay. Hiya, dakhalat. De, hum, dakhalu. Hunna, dakhalna. Ana dakhaltu, nahnu dakhalna. All of you, antum dakhaltum. Sisters, all of you, antunna dakhaltunna. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That way we will practice. And in, then slowly, slowly, I will change into Muhammad dakhala. Fatimatu dakhala. Uh, we will change it. Al auladu dakhalu. Al talibatu dakhalna. 
Uh, we are going to do later on. Uh, once, see, we haven't done plural. Very soon we'll do plural. And you'll have a good idea then, inshallah. Uh, lesson by lesson, brick by brick, we will build our house, inshallah. Next one, brother, Darasa. What is the meaning of Darasa? He studied. He studied. Okay? He studied. Uh, uh, dictionary to study. Ready? Darasa. Darasa, darasu, darasat, darasata, darasna, darasta, darastuma, darastum, darasti, darastuma, darastunna, darastu, darasna. Inshallah, because if we do every day a couple of exercises, inshallah, within a week or ten days, your mind will inshallah grab it and understand it. Okay, brothers and sisters, huwa darasa. Huh? If I say the pronoun, you will give me the, the verb form. Huwa hiya darasat. Hiya darasat. Hum hunna darasna. Nahnu darasna. What is the difference between hunna and nahnu, hunna bada, darasna, fatah, darasna, and nahnu, darasna. So you must pronounce in a way that it is, you know, easy to understand. So that the person who is listening knows exactly what you said. Hunna, darasna, nahnu, darasna. See, there is a difference, darasna, and then? Darasna. Are you with me, brother? Hua darasa. Hiya darasat. Hum darasu. Hunna darasna. Darasna. Ana darastu. Nahnu darasna. Anta darasta. Anti darasti. Antum darastum. Antunna darastunna. Ana Darastu. Darastu. Nahnu darastu. Inshallah, we'll practice. Because this is a new thing. Okay? And that's why I start in the beginning so that we practice bit by bit, bit by bit, and we become stronger. Inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, we did our verb, a couple of verbs, and we did the drill of uh, pronoun. Now I am coming to, I got to show you a lot of things. Yesterday we did nearly two and a half lessons. But, brother and sister, you got to write at home. Huh? Writing will make you perfect. Huh? If you shy away from writing, I'm afraid you will find book three are uh, difficult. You know? But if you practice writing, you will love book three, inshallah. Okay. I wrote down a sentence. Hada jadidun. Okay, brothers and sisters. Hada jadidun. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. Okay, what do we look in Jumla ismiya? Muptida and khabar. Where is Muptida? Hada. Where is khabar? No, what is Hada? It is a pronoun. Demonstrative. Ismu ishara. In English we call it Demonstrative pronoun. Okay? And all pronouns are definite. Remember, all pronouns are definite. That is why the muptada is definite. Uh, most of the time, mutta will be definite. Most of the time, muptada will be definite. Very soon, I want to bring example from Quran in which muptada is indefinite. And I will tell you why. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Al-Baytu Jadidun. What kind of a sentence it is? Ismiya. Where is Muftada? Al-Baytu. Where is Khabar? Jadidun. Okay? So, Hada Jadidun. This is new. The house is new. I'm pointing to the same thing. Huh? Now, we put these together. Hada Al-Baytu. What is the English? Translation, this house. This house. Sentence is not complete. This house. 
What about it? Give me some news. This house is new. So how do we analyze in Arabic, brothers and sisters? First, noun is our muftida. Then what shall I? Badal. It is called badal. Means substitute. Uh, badal means substitute. Not badal. Badal. Huh? Badal means cloud. Huh? Badal is substitute. How do I, you know, how do I explain that it is substitute? But that if I put my hand on baitu, what is left is hadha jatitun. Huh? So if I remove baitu, it still it makes sense. Huh? And if I do this, al baitu jatitun. So it is there, the sense is there. So then in Arabic we say al baitu is a substitute for hadha. So we call it badal. Muftada, badal. Badal of what? Haza. Uh, badal of what? Haza. And our khabar is there. Okay. Look at this sentence. <clears throat> this is here. Hadhil baidatu kabiratun. What is the English translation? This aim is big. Huh? So what is hazihi? Muftada. What is al baidatu? Badal. Badal. Because see, it came after ismu ishara. Sahi? And then what is kabiratun? Khaba. You got the idea, inshallah? How many ismu ishara who we have done so far, brothers and sisters? Four. Haza, hazihi, zalika, and tilka. Huh? Later on we'll do more. Any time there is ismu ishara and then a noun which is definite coming after ismu ishara that noun will be most of the time badal. Most of the time badal. Okay? We will be studying examples from Quran and from the book. Okay? Now, since I have written this sentence, we might as well look at it. Hadihil dajajatu, this chicken, li binti fallahi. Fallahi is the farmer. Binti is the daughter. Huh? How do I analyze, brother? Hadhi. Hadhi. Mubtada. Mubtada. Al Dajajatu Badal. Now I have to look for the khabar. Uh, the khabar is not one word. Khabar is Jar Majur. So what is Li? Harf Jar. Huh? Harf Jar? Isam Majur. I have to have a Isam Majur next to it. So what is Binti? Isam Majur. Okay? And now, there is something more after Binti. So it is Mudaf, Mudafile. So Binti, Hua Mudaf. Huh? Hua Mudafile. If you will think of Hua Mudaf and Mudafile, Inshallah, a lot of things will become very easy, Inshallah. Very, very easy. This is all very logical and very interesting. I found, found it very fascinating. Huh? Okay? Next one. Hazihi sa'atu. What is hazihi? Muqtada. What is sa'atu? Badal. Huh? Now we have to have a khabar. What is li? Harf cha. I need isam majrur. Ibni. So libni. Huh? So then, huwa muda. And then muda. But brother, if you can say these things, alhamdulillah. You, you have achieved something nice. Sister Fatima, is it clear? Uh, if you, I have a request. Brother, I admire your efforts. I admire your sacrifice. I have highest respect for your sacrifice and your dedication. And I am here to help you. If you do not understand anything, ask me. And I'll help you. I'll sit after the class to show you everything. Huh? Okay, sisters, if you'll ask me, I'll come and sit with you and I'll show you. Brothers, if you will ask me, I'll sit with you and show you. So feel free to ask me. Huh? I am at your service. Now, if you don't ask me, the loss is yours. Okay? Yes, Sister Salma? I have a question. Yes. Why can't we say, say Isam Majroo Khabar or Khabar or Madar? Why don't we, why don't we eliminate that word Khabar altogether? No, we are not eliminating Khabar. Huh? No, we are not, Salma. 
You see here I can say Lee Harfchar. Lee Harfchar. We got to find a simple way of doing it. Huh? Okay. Lee Harfchar. Binti Isam Majur. Then you can say, if you were to write, Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Huh? And then, no, then you don't say Mudaf. Because it will be too much reputation. Then you will say Al Fallah Mudafili. That is also okay. Maybe I'll give you a rough example of how you write it. Huh? Okay. Hazihi. Huh? I will say Mubutada. Are you with me? Simple. You, you can write a whole couple of lines for Hazihi. We won't do it now. Okay, Hadihi Muktada. as We are in a very elementary stage. So we want to do simple analysis. Just one word. Because that way our mind is getting used to analyzing. as Badal. Okay, Badal. It's Badalun. Now I say Li Harfcha. Huh? Harfu Jarren. Huh? Okay. And then Ibni huh? Isim Majuru. Are you with me? Okay. Now then I can say Wahua Mudaf. Because I'm writing now, huh? I got a lot of space. Wa Hua Mudaf. Sahi? And then I will say Libnil uh, Mudir Al Mudir Bada Mudafilehi. Okay, now I don't have space, uh, but suppose I'm writing there, then I will say uh, Libni uh, Jarun uh, Majrurun Wa Majrurun. Jarun wa majrurun shibhul jumlati khabarun. Are you with me? You will. Everything is mentioned from page 23 onwards. You know, you got four pages of analysis. So, when you split it, you don't have to say khabar, but when you combine it, you can say khabar. No, no. We, you see, what happens? Uh, uh, Sister uh, Selma, that because there is a mudafile, first we just analyze it. Huh? And then underneath we say uh, sh libni, uh, libni, okay, which is jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Huh? See page number 23 onwards. Huh? We have given simple explanation to you. Okay? There are four pages uh, which should give you. A good idea. Huh? Yes, Sister Naima? What's Ibni? Ibni will be after Li. If Li Harfjar comes, what will be Ibni? Ism Majrur Khalas. Wahua Mudaf. Wahua Mudaf. You know, as Sister Mainaz now, mashallah, she is uh, quick to say Wahua Mudaf, which is excellent. Because it gives you an idea that the Ism Majroor is playing double role. On one hand, it is Ism Majroor, then on the other hand, it is Mudaf, because Mudaf Ilayhi is coming. Huh? Inshallah, I will explain you, brother. We will do lots of analysis, at least verbal analysis, so that you have a good idea. Yes, brother Abdul Karim? What was the page number? G? The page number. 23. Where 23? Where? Handout. Handout. If you have handout, open your handout, page 23. The white. white one. Always keep your handout handy. <laughs> huh? Keep your handout handy right in front of you. If I say page number, you can... Brother, this handout has become very popular now. Uh, even uh, people who are in different uh, areas of Toronto but studying from a different teacher, they come and say, we want that handout. MashaAllah. It means it does have benefit. Huh? Page 23 onwards. Huh? I 
request you to check it out at home, inshallah. Uh, you got it, page, huh? you got the idea? 23, 24, 25, 26. Four pages, brother. Huh? I, I'll keep this here. Huh? Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Now we again start. Adarsu Saminu. Lesson number? Lesson number? Eight. I have to do a lot of things today, brother. Hadar Rajalu. Hadar Rajalu. Put a line. Fatima, put a line after Hadar Rajalu. Now tell me what is Hadar Rajalu. What is Hadar? And what is the Rajalu? Badal. Huh? Got it? Where is the Khabar now? Huh? Tajirun. There is the Khabar? This man is merchant. We are still re we are re revising the page. 40, 42. We are revising the page 42. What Dalika Rajalu? Wow is Ataf. What is Dalika Rajalu? Put a line there. What is Dalika? Muktita. What is Rajalu? Badal. What is the Khabar? Tabib. Got the idea? Ismu Tajari. What kind of a compound is this? Mudaf Mudafilehi. What is Ismu? Muktita. Wahua Mudaf. And then where is the Mudafilehi? Tajirin. Okay. And where is the Khabar? Mahmudun. Okay. Wasmu Tabibi. Wow came. Where is Muftada? Ismu. Wahua? Mudaf. And then where is Mudafilehi? Tabib. Where is the Khabar? Saeedun. Okay. Inshallah. Now we have another sentence. Brother and sister. Hadal Baitu. What is the translation? This house. This, it is not a sentence. Eh? Because we don't understand what is going on here. So we need Khabar. Okay, so we say Hazal Baitu, put a line after Hazal Baitu. What is Haza? Muftida. What is Al Baitu? Badal. Where is the Khabar? Lit Tajri. Huh? So here there is no Mudafili. So you will write down Li Harf Chat, Tajri Sim Majrur, Jar Majrur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Here you can straight away say Shibu Jumla Khabar. But when you have Mudaf, Mudafilei coming, then I showed you there are different ways of analyzing it. Okay, fine. What Zalika al Baitu? Wow, Ataf. What is Zalika? Mabtida. What is al Baitu? Badal. And what is Lit Tabibi? Jar Majru? Shibu Jumla Khabar. Got the idea? Here comes Baitu Tajri. This is a compound. Mudaf, Mudafilei. Baitu Tajri. Where is Mabtida? Baitu. Wahua mudaf. And then tajiri mudaf ilahi. Sahi, put a line there. And what is amama? Remember, it is not imama, but amama. This is a zarf in front. Amama masjidi. Amamal masjidi. So here, amama is a zarf. And we will say shibu jumla khabar. Okay? And then what will you say about the masjidi? Mudafili. After zarf comes mudafili. Sahi. So in this case, as you see, Sister Salma, we said amama shibu jumla khabar. And then we said al masjidi mudafili. Okay? Got the idea? Wa baitu tabibi baitu mubtada wa huwa mudaf tabibi mudafili khalfa. Again, Zarf. Khalfa, Shibu Jumla Khabar. And then what is Al Madrasati? Mudafilehi. Got the idea? Inshallah. Inshallah. Now, in the handout, we have done Khalfa Zarf and Madrasati Mudafilehi. And then we are saying in the handout, Shibu Jumla Khabar. But both will be correct, but more accurate will be. As we will learn in book 3, that Khalfa is a Shibu Jumla Khabar. And Madrasati will be Mudafili. Huh? Inshallah. But as long as you know what's going on, that is the important thing, brother and sister. 
Fine. Liman hadhi sayaratu. How will you translate this, brother? To whom this car belongs to? Wa liman tilka. And to whom that? Okay. Hadhi sayaratu. Lit tabibi. Hadhi mubtada. Badal. And then lit tabibi. Jar majru. Shibu jumla khabar. Okay. Wa tilka. And that one mubtada. Lit tajari. Jar majru. Shibu jumla khabar. Fine. Hadhi sayaratu. Hadhi mubtada. Sayaratu. Badal. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Minal yabani. Jar majru. Shibu jumla khabar. Okay. Wa tilka. Tilka. Mubtada. Mubtada. And min amrika. Jar majru. Shibu jumla khabar. Okay. You know, when you will, when we will start, Go in book two and learn more, and then we study Quran, brothers and sisters. The intensity and power of the language will come to you. Hmm? Like this ayah, you know, when I really understood it thoroughly, I was so pleased, you know. Lau anzalna hazal Qurana ala jabalin. La ra'aytahu. Every word. Has a meaning and a purpose in the sentence. What is love? Not L O V E. <laughs> okay? Huh? What is love? When we learn, it will surprise you. And those who do not know language of the Quran, brother, they are missing out. They are only getting benefit maybe one or two percent. Huh? Love is a condition. Huh? We will be learning Jumla Shartiya, conditional sentence. So what kind of a condition is that? These, these, these are the things we are going to learn. And if there is a condition, uh, if there is a condition, then there is a, if there is a sharth, then there is a jawabu sharth. And all these things we will understand. And that is so beautiful, brothers and sisters. So very beautiful. Book 3, inshallah. Okay. Ajib anil as'ilatil atiyati. Tamarinu, mamnu mina sarf. Diptot. Tamarinu, diptot. You can see one damma there. Huh? Okay. Man hadar rajulu wa man zalikar rajulu. The answers will be from the, the lesson. Huh? Okay, brother. What will be the answer? Hadar rajulu, tajirun, wa zalikar rajulu, tabibun. Huh? Okay. Now we are not analyzing, but we can say this man is a merchant and that person is a dabib. Masmu Tajiri, Ismu Tajiri, Mahmudun, Masmu Tabibi, Ismu Tabibi, Saeedun. You can write the sentence correctly, put the proper vowel sound, signs, vowel signs at the end, and inshallah you will not make a mistake. You will not make a mistake, inshallah. Min ayna sayaratu tabibi? Sayaratu tabibi? Min al yabani. Wa min ayna sayaratu tajiri? Sayaratu tajiri min amrika. Are you with me? Ayna baytu tajiri? See, baytu tajiri, these are all mudaf mudafilay. Baytu tajiri. Amam al Masjidi. Wa aina baitut tabibi? Baitut tabibi khalf al madrasati. Got the idea? Ikra waktub. Now you have to write. You have to write everything. Hazal waladu khalidun. Translation This boy is khalid. So what is haza? Mubtada. Al waladu badal. And then Khalidun is the Khabar. Wow, Ataf. Zalika al Waladu. What is Zalika? Mubtada. What is, what is Waladu? Badal. Huh? And uh, Muhammadun is the Khabar. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. I think it's nice we are revising. Huh? So that you will become very strong with the Badal business. Huh? Okay. Hazar Rajulu. Mudarrisun. If you wish, brothers and sisters, 
So there are no vowel signs. Hazal waladu put a line. And zalikal waladu put a line because that part is muftira. Okay. Now, hazal rajulu put a line. Haza muftida. Ar rajulu badal. So, if you know that it is a khabar, then you will never say mudarisin. You will always say mudarisun. Because khabar is always marfu. If it is one word. Wa zalika rajulu muhandi sun. Okay. Zalika muftida. Ar rajulu badal muhandi sun khabar. Haza al kitabu. Jadidun. Haza muftida. Al badal. And khabar. Wa zalika al kitabu. Muftida Badal Khabar. See the beauty of Dr. Abdurrahim. You know, I have seen so many books, brother. Uh, and the author somehow uh, explains, but he makes every, brings everything together. And then we as a student, we get confused. In this, if Dr. Abdurrahim wants us to learn Badal, he will only bring Badal here. Nothing else. So that every sentence that we do just makes us more strong. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless him for his enormous services to the language of the Quran. May Allah bless him and give him long life. Inshallah. Fine. Hadhi sayaratu. Hadhi sayaratu. See? Mubtada badal. Now where is the khabar? Shibu Jumla. How will you say Li Ali in Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar? So, Sister Salman, there is no mudafili. I can straight away say Shibu Jumla Khabar. Huh? Okay? What tilka and that is Li Khalidin. Huh? So, here it is only Muptada, no Badal. Huh? Li Khalidin, Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Hazal Babu, put a line. Hazal Muptada, Al Babu, Badal. And maftuhun khabar. Wa zalik al babu mughlakun. So zalik al mubtida al babu badal mughlakun khabar. Liman hazi his saatu. You will not say saati, but there is nothing to make it majroor. Li came, only man became majroor. That's it. Liman hazi his saatu. To whom? This watch belongs. Okay, what is the answer? Hiya. It is Hiya. It is Muftada. Where is the khabar? Li Abbasin. Jar Majur Shubu Jumla Khabar. Ahadal Baitu li Tabib. Tabibi, mashallah. Ahadal Baitu li Tabibi. What is the answer? La. Hua Muftada. Lil. Mudarrisi. Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Brother Lil Mudarrisi, remember how Lil is written. Hamzatul Wasal has been dropped. Huh? Actually, it is Li, Harfjar, and then Al Mudarrisu. Now Li came, it will become Al Mudarrisi. But you put together, you remove in writing Hamzatul Wasal. It became Lil. Huh? Because as it is, you are not pronouncing Hamzatul Wasal. Fine, brother and sister. أَهَذِهِ الدَّرَّاجَةُ لِبْنِ الْمُعَذِّنِ Is this bicycle belongs to, does this bicycle belong to the son of Muazzin? So see, لِي حَرْفْ جَرْ إِبْنِ إِسَمْ مَجْرُورْ وَهُوَ مُدَعْفْ And Muazzini مُدَعْفْ لِهِ Got the idea? Inshallah, Inshallah. نعم, yes. مَنْ هَذَا الْوَلَدُ Who is this boy? Huwa talibun min al-Iraqi. So brother, here see, huwa mubtida. Talibun, one word. Marfu, it is our khabar. So we got our khabar. So what will you say, min al-Iraqi? You will only say, jar majroor. Nothing else. Jar majroor. Okay. Azalika al-baytu jadidun. Azalika al-baytu jadidun. Is that house is new? Is that house a new? La huwa kadimun jiddan. 
huwa mubtada qadimun khabar and you see jiddan is mar mansub eh? it is mansub so what is this mansub noun doing here we will study in book 3 we won't do now just at the moment we understand the meaning what is the meaning very eh? v e r y very eh? it's very old eh? هذه السيارة من الياباني هذه مبتدا سيارة بدل من الياباني جار مجروح شبو جملة خبر وتلك تلك مبتدا and then what is the خبر شبو جملة جار مجروح خبر من سويسرا سويسرا that is Switzerland okay هذا هذا سكينو هذا سكينو هذا مبتدا سكينو بدل هذا سكينو من ألمانيا من ألمانيا okay from Germany وتلك الملأكة and that spoon is from من الكالترة from England okay now we have a exercise we read the example and then change the sentence according to the example, brother. Hada kitabun. Hada kitabun. Hada muqtada kitabun. Khabar. Now we have to make hada kitabun into muqtada and badal. And then bring the news. So what is the example? Hada kitabu. Li Muhammadin. So what is Hada? Muftada. Al Kitabu. Badal. And you said Li. Jar Mazur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay, brother. Very good. So we have to form these sentences. Very easy exercise. Very interesting exercise. Khabar is given to you. Okay, brothers and sisters. And just try to make a sentence. Hada tabibun. How will you say now? Hada tabibu. Is it clear? Hada tabibu. And what will be the khabar? Min al Hindi. So as soon as you said Hada tabibu, Hada tabibu, not Hada, but Hada tabibu. What will you say? Hada muftida tabibu bada. That's okay. Next one. Hazi his sayyaratu. Muftida bada. What am, where is the khabar? Lil mudiri. Jar majur. Shubu jumla khabar. Zalikal waladu. Muqtada badal. What is the khabar? Ibnul mudarrisi. Ibnu is your khabar. Huwa mudaf and mudafili. Fine. Tilkas saatu. What is tilkas saatu? Muqtada badal. What is the khabar? Min swissara. Okay. Jar majur. Shubu jumla khabar. هذا البيت مبتدا بدل where is the خبر للمهندسي جار مجرو شبه جملة خبر هذا الكلام هذا مبتدا كلام بدل and لي أباسن لي جار مجرو شبه جملة خبر ذلك الرجل بدل where is the news Mu'adzinun. That person is a Mu'adzin. Mu'adzinun. Because when one word comes, no harfchar in front of it, no midaf in front of it, so it has to be marfu. Mu'adzinun. It will only become majroor if there is a harfchar in front of it, or it comes as a mudaf ilahi. Or if there is a zarf in front of it. There is nothing. So it is marfu, one word. It's one word, marfu. Huh? Very good, brother. Hadihil baidatu. Remember? Hadihil baidatu. Kabiratun. That is your khabar. Hadal mindilu. This handkerchief. What about it? Wasikhun. Marfu. One word. Hadihil hakibatu. Hadihil hakibatu. Lil mudarrisi. Lil mudarrisi. Lil mudarrisi. Jair majnul. Shibu jumla khabar. Very good. Ikra misal. 
No, this is the way we will form the question. Liman hadal kitabu. Remember, brother, it cannot be kitabi. Sometimes some students can make a mistake. Huh? Because they saw li in the front, they may say it will kitabi. No. Liman is jar majrur. Khatam. Okay. Hadal kitabu. Okay. Okay, so it is kitabu. What is the answer? Hazal kitabu li Muhammadin. Now we are using the harf jar li. Huh? Harf jar li. Okay. So now there is a picture and we got to form a sentence, question, and then give answer. What is the first kalam? So what will you say? Liman azal kalamu. What will you say? Azal kalamu li abba sin. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Brother and sister, I hope you will do it at home. Write it at home, inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Liman hadal miftahu. Liman. No, miftahu is a muzakkar. Sister Sukhaina. Miftahu is a muzakkar. Liman hadal miftahu. Hazal miftahu li ali jin. Okay. Now comes Muannas. Liman hadihi sayyaratu. Hazihi sayyaratu. Lil mudir, huh? that Hamzatul Wasal will go, go away and you will say Lil mudiri. Very good. Liman hadhil bakaratu. Hadhil bakaratu. Lil fallahi. Lil fallahi. Liman hadhil hakibatu. Hadhil hakibatu. Lil mudarrisi. Liman Liman ha zal kursiyu Liman ha zal kursiyu Ha zal kursiyu Li ammarin Okay Next one brothers and sisters We already got it here Liman ha zihil Dajajatu Ha zihil dajajatu Li Bintil Fallahi Got the idea? Li Bintil Fallahi. Very good, brother. Now, the watch. Liman hazi his sa'atu. Okay. Hazi his sa'atu. Libinil. Libinil mudiri. Are you with me? Libinil mudiri. And we did analyze. Li harfchar. Ibni. Huh? Ibni. Li harfchar. Ibni. Isam majroor. Wa huwa mudaf. And then al mudir. Mudafili. And then you can say Libni Jar Majru Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay? Fine. What is the next one, brother? Liman Hazal Baitu. Liman Hazal Baitu. Hazal Baitu Lit Tabibi. Mashallah. Liman Hazil Milakatu. Hazil Milakatu Lit Talibi. Belongs to the student. Okay. Inshallah, now I will remove this. Okay, I, I want to, you know, tell you something, brothers and sisters. To acquire knowledge is obligatory. It's obligatory. The first word that Allah uh, revealed, Ikra, read, so that you know. Huh? So that word applies to us all the time. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, so, brother, it is so very important for us to uh, go ahead in our secular studies and our religious studies. Eh? We have to. No time to waste. We must always, always study, 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 you know. And uh, I want to show, I want to motivate some of you if you are not very strong. Okay, brothers and sisters. I am not good at drawing. What did I draw, brothers? A candle. What do you call candle in Arabic? Shama. In Urdu also? Shama. Or even Farsi. It's in Shama. 
Okay, brothers and sisters. This Shamma uh, represents light, Noor. And what does the Noor do? It dispels darkness. Darkness is injustice and evil things. That is all darkness. And the light is justice. Okay, brothers and sisters. And where we know our responsibilities and we are striving to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our daily lives, in our actions of daily lives. Okay, so Noor represents that. Okay. When I was a very small child, uh, we used to have an assembly in the school early morning. <clears throat> and there, you know, we used to sing. 1,200 students singing loudly in the ground adjacent to the school, you know. And I never forgot that, brother. And I want to share with you <coughs> that, <coughs> inshallah, you'll like it. Garmi ilm se har saas ko bala kar de Garmi ilm se har saas ko bala kar de Ya Rab, is khak ke zarre ko sitara kar de Ya Rab, is khak ke zarre ko sitara kar de Now, brother, some of you do not know Urdu, so I'll translate. Garmiye ilm, you know, with the power of knowledge, huh? with the intensity of knowledge. Huh? Ya Allah, make my every breath a very special breath. Now, brother, some of you do not know Urdu, so I'll translate. Garmiye ilm. You know, with the power of knowledge, eh? with the intensity of knowledge. Eh? Ya Allah, make my every breath a very special breath. Every breath I take should be meaningful, should have a purpose. It should be the best breath of mine, you know. And then, Ya Rab, is ke zarreku. Oh Allah, I'm only a speck of dust. Who am I? I want, I'm only a speck of dust. And with your mercy and grace, please make me a star. Please make me a star. Not a Hollywood star, brother. Not a Bollywood star. Those are disasters. Those people are, I should say, misfortune, fortunate people. Because outside they may seem happy, inside they are the most disturbed people in this world. Okay, may Allah should not lead us to that path, you know, to us or to our children, you know. So, a star means, you know, somebody who's extremely pious, who guides others, okay, and who will always be near Allah, okay, Mukarrabin, okay. And then the next line, brother. Ilmu ho shamma to mein. Shamma ka parwana banu. If uh, the ilm is a noor, and ilm is noor, uh, al ilmu noorun. Uh, Muptada khabar. Al ilmu muptada. What is the khabar? Noorun. Uh, ilm ho shamma. To the me shamma ka parwana banu. That I should become parwana. That is a very sweet word. What is the English translation? Not so sweet. <laughs> what is the English translation, brother? Not. But in, in, in poetry, you know, parvana is the insect that sacrifices itself to the light, in achieving the light. Whenever there is a light, it goes there. Okay? So, Ya Allah, <coughs> if... The il, the knowledge is a shamma, if it is a nur, let me become a parwana of that shamma. Ashak. Ilm ho shamma to mein shamma ka parwana banu. Mera us taad wo saki to mein 
If my ustad is Saki, you know who's the Saki? He pours. When you go to Saudi Arabia, any office, that person will come and pour you coffee in little... <laughs> okay? So if my ustad is the Saki, then let me become the vessel in which I receive the ilm. You know? Okay, brother? So we, you know, should always strive to achieve and acquire knowledge. And then there's a, another point, poem, a very, very beautiful poem by Alama Iqbal. Most of those who know Urdu, they, they know it, you know. Alama Iqbal is one of the greatest philosophers of 20th century, okay. And he wrote a beautiful, beautiful dua, okay, in the form of a poetry. Now, it, children usually sing it, but the meaning is applicable to everybody, brother. Hmm? And he says, you know, Lapeati hadua banke tamanna meri. Lapeati hadua. A dua comes to my lips. Huh? But in what form? Banke tamanna. What is tamanna? An intense desire. Huh? Intense desire. You know, that is called tamanna. It's an Arabic word. Okay, we will be studying in book three. Lapeati hadua banke tamanna meri. What is that desire? Zindagi, my life. Zindagi, shamma ki surat ho, hodaya meri. That, Ya Allah, let my life be like a light, like a noor. So wherever I go, I dispel darkness. I dispel injustice huh? and I enlighten people. I do good deeds so that there's uh, happiness and prosperity and tranquility among masses, you know. Zindagi ho meri parwane ki surat ya Now he's asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Oh Allah, give me a life of a parwana. Huh? What does the parwana do? Sacrifice himself, achieving that light. Zindagi ho meri parwane ki surat ya rab. Ilm ki shamma se ho mujko mohabat ya rab. Oh Allah, give, make my life that I always love ilm. I always Love acquiring ilm. Make me a parvana of ilm. Parvana of shamma of ilm. Let me write down parvana, brother. Parvana. Huh? Okay, this is Urdu, brother. Parvana. Okay, now I tell you something. Many people don't understand this. Huh? And I, when we were children, we did not understand. So our Ustad gave us an example. He said, Parvana is the uh, insect which whenever he sees light, whenever he sees ill, he goes there and tries to achieve the light. And in that process, he sacrifices himself. Okay. So he said, you know, the, all the time poets talk about Parvana. Nothing else but parvana and shamma. Okay? So one of the uh, mosquito, what do we call mosquito? Machar. What do we call it? Machar. He became very jealous. He said, what is this? Huh? I am also a creation of God. The poets never miss, mention me all the time. Parvana, parvana. Huh? Let me find out what they do that they are praised by all the poets and nobody even mentions me and I'm also here, okay? So he goes to the colony of Parvanas, okay? But then in order to go into the colony of Parvana, he has to put on a dress of Parvana. He, he puts on the garb of Parvana and goes into the colony and says, brothers, I've come from a different village and I'll spend a couple of days here and then I'll go back. 
the, all the Parvana says, Ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. Huh? Come, relax here, eat whatever you want to, okay? And when the evening came, and when the lights went on, okay, all the Parvanas went out of their colonies to acquire light. And in the process, sacrifice themselves. So they said to this new Parvana, who was originally a Machar, he said, come brother, the lights are on. Let's go. Let's acquire that light. Okay? Now that Machar understood why they are going, they are going to kill themselves there. You know? And so he understood the reason uh, why all the poets are always talking about Parvana. Because they show an intense love and desire to acquire Noor, you know. So when he was asked, Chalo, chalo, let's go. What was the answer? I got some very important work. You carry on. I'll follow you later. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So now the thing is, who are we? Are we Parvana? Are we Machar? The ilm is here. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The ilm is here. Are you a mosquito? Huh? What will mosquito say? I'll do tomorrow. I'll do my homework tomorrow. <laughs> there is still a lot of time. What will Parvana say? No, I will do it now. I will do it now. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Okay. So this is a, a short thing. You know, I thought when we were taught in the school these things, you know, it made a, it made a great impact on our, uh, you know, lives, you know, and we would try to become very serious about it. And then some people make it a joke. I told this, I tell this story everywhere I go, and I sing everywhere I go. So I was teaching a class in Lahore, you know, all adult class. Huh? Huh? So here I told them this story. And the, when the class started at 8.30, Everybody came, but a couple of people didn't come, you know. And these boys were very mischievous. They used to make fun of their friends only. Yeah? Then uh, uh, the brother Umar is coming a little late. Brother Asif, I said, yes, brother, what is it? Machar is coming. <laughs> I said, brother, that's not fair. <laughs> he came late, so he became a machar. So, you know, I said, don't do that. That's not fair. But, you know, it made sense to them that you have to be a parvana. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, inshallah, brothers and sisters, we will do it. Huh? I give you one example of another student of mine. Now, that student is a teacher. She's a brilliant teacher. Huh? She teaches in rich man here. When she started learning Arabic, in the, that was my first class. And, uh, and she was so dedicated and meticulous. She, she has three grown-up daughters, all university students, her husband, busy woman, she has her own job. And whenever I checked her homework, her homework was up to date. Her writing was like pearls, a moti, huh? so, so beautiful, you know. <coughs> so I said, uh, Sister Khalida, you do so much, you know, homework, mashallah, mashallah, you know. Uh, but when do you do it? When do you do your homework? I am curious to know, because you are a very busy woman. He said, Brother Asif, when we finish our class, I go home, and I do not sleep till I finish my homework. Because I, I know that if I didn't do it now, tomorrow, <laughs> I may not get time. Uh, can you, can you imagine the, 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 the love and the uh, desire to excel? Same night, she will do her homework and she will not go to bed till she finished it. Uh, and she was the best student. And today, she's one of the best teachers, brothers and sisters. So, you know, if we want, we can do it. It's in our hands, brothers and sisters. Now, this is a beautiful opportunity that has come in your lap. You want to grab it like a parwana? Or you want to 
put it off. Like some, like unparwana. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> so, alhamdulillah, I hope that my little talk will inshallah motivate you. And you will remember the responsibility. Allah has given a responsibility. Allah has bestowed on us a deen of Islam. That's a big responsibility. How do we fulfill it? First we acquire knowledge and then we pass on the knowledge to others. And inshallah may Allah make us successful in our mission inshallah. Okay brothers and sisters, I hope I did not bore you with my talk. Huh? Okay, something uh, that you will remember inshallah. Now number five we do brothers and sisters. Do you see there Al-Baytu? What is Al-Baytu? Marfu. Huh? What is Al-Baytu? Marfu. What is Fil Bayti? Jar Majru. What is Min Al Bayti? Jar Majru. What is Ilal Bayti? Jar Majru. Why did Bayti become Majru? Because of Harf Jar. Harf Jar. So we know that. Huh? Now comes Mustashfa. Brothers and sisters, tell me where is the Fata? Is it on the last Kalima or one before last? One before last. Huh? What is the last kalima? Yeah. It is a ya. Without doubt. Remember there is no dot. It is ya. But it is pronounced as alif. It's called alif maksura. Chota alif. Tingo alif. <coughs> Are you with me? Do you understand me? Tingo alif. <laughs> Shorty. <laughs> okay. Al mustashfa. The actual meaning of the word. Hospital brother. Oh. A hospital. Mustashfa. It does not show its vowel signs. When it, when it declines, it does decline. Uh, it does become majroor. It does become marfu. But it does not show the vowel signs. The mustashfa is also one form. But later on, we will try to understand uh, how we describe it in the Arabic grammar when we do analysis. Huh? We learned that in book 3. Okay, So mustashfa... And you say fil mustashfa. Huh? And then minal mustashfa. Huh? Because the fata is on fa. There is a ya coming after that. And ilal mustashfa. Now, amrika, same thing. Amrika, fi amrika, no al. Huh? Min amrika, ila amrika. Almania. See that Hamza? That is Hamzatul Kata. Huh? It is a part of the noun. Huh? Almania fi Almania minal Almania ilal Almania. Okay. Canada. What is it, brother? Canada fi Canada min Canada ila. Canada. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine. Now, Ikra waktu, read and write. Hadat tabibu min inkaltarra. Min inkaltarra. Okay? So, bada hadha muftida. Tabib badal. Min inkaltarra jar maju shibu jumla khabar. Zahaba hamidun. Oh, ho, ho. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla failure. What are we looking? Fiel and file. Where is the fiel? Zahaba. Where is the file? Hami dun dun. Hami dun. Because file is always marfu. Ila Faransa. What is it? Faransa. What is that? France. Okay. Ila Faransa. It's only Jar Majru. We don't say anything more. Okay. Mahmudun Maridun. Mahmud Muftada Marid Khabar. Hua. What is Hua, brother? Muftada. What is the next word? Al Ana. Brother Hassan, what is Al Ana? What is the meaning of Al Ana? Now. So what is it? Zarf. What kind of a zarf is it? Zarf is Zaman because it indicates time. Huh? Al Ana. It's Mansub. Al A na put a fata on the noon. Al A na.
And remember, brothers and sisters, that Hamza is <coughs> Hamza Tul What does Al-Ana mean? Now. Now. A W. Huh? Now. And what is it, brother? It is Zarf. And if I go in further detail, I will say Zarfu Zama Nin. What did I write? Mudaf Mudafili. Zarfu Zama Nin. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Fine. Okay, who are Muftada Al Ana is Zarf? Where is the Khabar? Fil Mustashfa. Jar Majrur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Zahaba Abdullahi. Zahaba Abdullahi. What is Zahaba? Fial. Where is the file? What is, where is the file? Abdu only, brother. File is always marfu. Abdu is your file. Wahuwa mudaf. And Allah is mudafili. That is the way we describe. If you say Abdullah is file, no, 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 no. Then our understanding is not perfect. Abdu is the file. Because file is always marfu. And then it became mudaf. And where is mudafili? Allahi. Allahi. Okay? Min Almania, Jar Majur, Ila in Kaltara, Jar Majur. Hazal Kitabu, Hazal Kitabu, Hazal Kitabu, Haza, Muftada, Al Kitabu, Badal. Li Isa, Li Isa. Are you with me? Jar Majur, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Wazalikal Kitabu. Le Musa. See, in also do we don't see the vowel signs. Uh, Le Isa and Le Musa. You won't see vowel signs here. Because it ends with Alif Maksura. Okay? Hazal Muhandisu Hazal Muhandisu Min Amrika. So Haza Muftida Al Muhandisu Badal Min Amrika. Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Brothers and sisters, Ikra Waktub. You should write this also. Huh? Even though it doesn't say Waktub, but you should write also. As Saburatu. What is As Saburatu? Blackboard. What will you call As Saburatu? I know that. Muftada. Muftada. Okay. And where is the Khabar? Amama, Zarf, Shibu Jumla Khabar. And what is Talibi? Mudafilihi. Mudafilihi. Then you'll say Wa, Ataf, Hiya. Because it is a mornas. Muftida. What is Khalfa? Zarf, Shibu Jumla Khabar. Shibu Jumla Khabar. And what is Al Mudarrisi? Mudafilihi. So how will you translate? Translate. Uh, the blackboard is in front of the student and it is it is behind the mudaris. It is it, the blackboard is behind me. Okay? Very good. Aina Sayaratul Mudarishi. Where is the car of the teacher? Hiya Amamal Madrasati. Hiya Muptada Amama Zarf Shibujumala Khabar. Amamal Madrasati. It is in front of the school. Madrasati is Mudafili. Aina Baitul Imami. Where is the house of Imam? Okay, where is the house of the Imam? Baitul Imami Khalfal Masjidi. Okay, brother, Baitu. Baitu. Muptada. Wahua Mudaf. Where is Mudafilihi? Imami. What is Khalfa? Zarf. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Are you with me? Shibu Jumla Khabar. And where is, what is Al Masjidi? Mudafili. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Aina Jalasa Hamidun. How will you translate? Aina Jalasa Hamidun. Where did Hamid sit? It is past tense. Where did he sit? What is the answer? Jalasa Khalfa 
mahmudin. Okay, brother, what kind of a sentence is this? Jalasa? Jumla failure. Where is the verb? Jealous. Where is the file? No. Mustatir. Now, brother, I tell you one thing. Verbal sentence. Huh? What is it, brother and sister? Normal sequence of the verbal sentence. What is the normal sequence, brother? Fi'alun. Fa'ilun. And then it will be maf'ulun bihi. What is maf'ulun bihi? Object. Dr. Sahib, Dr. Abdurrahim is explaining Mafulun Bihi in book 2, lesson number 5. It will come in wholesale to you. It will come from left and right, Mafulun Bihi. So, here is the sequence. Always remember, sequence. There will be a fiel. And file has to come after. Never before. After. File has to come after. And then if there is a need for mafulun bihi, object, it will come after. This is a normal sequence of the verbal sentence. Brother, I write to you here. Zahaba hamidun ilal masjidi. What is it, brother? Zahaba hamidun ilal masjidi. Where is, where is the verb? Zahaba. Where is the file? Hamidun. What is ilal masjidi? Jar majr. Jar majr. Khalas. Fine. Huh? Now I change, brother. I said hamidun. Zahaba ilal masjidi. Do you see, I'm always putting Hamzatul Kata. You have to put proper Hamzatul Kata. Okay, brother. I want to test your knowledge now. What kind of a sentence is this? Jumla Ismiya. But why? Because the noun started. Okay? The noun started the sentence, it is Jumla Ismiya. So what is Hamidun? Muftada. Very good. Okay. Now, Zahaba is verb. Sahi? Zahaba is your verb. Where is the file? Mustatir. Because file has to come afterwards. And if it is not seen in the sentence, then it is you cannot say Zahaba al Masjid, Hamid is the file. No, Hamid is Muptada. What is it? Muptada. Now, this is something that we will inshallah understand. This is very beautiful, brother. Nothing, nothing complicated. Sister Salma. Now, I'm, I'm showing you something else. Huh? Are you with me? I'm showing you something else. Just the whole thing has come up, so I'm showing you. I put a line. What does the line say to you, Salma? It's Muqtada. So where is the khabar? Where is the khabar? No, what is it? Before Ilal. Zahaba. So if I say to you, Zahaba Ilal Masjidi, what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla failure. So where is the khabar? Jumla failure. Where is the khabar? Jumla failure. Are you with me? Yeah, there's no, in huh? no, the whole sentence is khabar, brother. This is something new. I didn't want to show you. I wanted to wait, but I will have to now one day show you. So, brother, if the noun starts the sentence, then it is muftada. 
And immediately if there is a verbal sentence, then that whole verbal sentence will become your khabar. But before I say that jumla failure is khabar, I will do like this. My analysis will be like this. Hamidun Bhaktada. Zahaba Fial. Where is the file? Mustatir. Ilal Masjidi Jar Majur. Then I will say, says Salma, are you listening everybody? Al Jumla Felia Khabar. What is it? Al Jumla Felia Khabar. Are you with me? Inshallah I'll be repeating this. Huh? And you will inshallah understand. Now remember one thing. Now we revise how many types of khabar. Khabar can be one word. And it is always marfu. Khabar can be jar majru. We call it shibu jumla. Khabar can be zarf. We call it shibu jumla. And khabar can be jumla failure. You will never say hamidun as file. No, you will never say. Huh? See, Arabic grammar is so beautiful, brother. Whether I say Zahaba Hamidun ilal masjid or whether I said Hamidun Zahaba ilal masjid, in English translation it will be same. Hamid went to the masjid. But in Arabic grammar, there is a difference. This is Jumla failure. This is Jumla ismiya. And the Jumla failure is coming as a khabar. In this, there is no need for khabar because we are only fiel and file, looking for fiel and file. But as soon as you start a jumla with a noun, it becomes jumla ismiya. And there is a possibility that the khabar can be one word. There is a possibility the khabar can be jar majrur. There is a possibility the khabar can be zarf. There is a possibility the khabar can be jumla failure. And there is a possibility. The last kind of khabar. Guess. There's a possibility the khabar is jumla ismiya. Are you with me? Are you? No, no. I mean, do you uh, at least understand me what I said? That the khabar can be jumla ismiya. Okay? But jumla ismiya, when it becomes a khabar, it becomes, it comes like a hard chickpeas. So we will wait. Let's put it on a, uh, uh, on a stove so that the peas get a little soft. And when they get soft, we will try to understand it. Are you with me? We will understand it. And it is all in the Quran, brother. It's in the Quran. Everything is in the Quran. Whatever we are learning, this course is based, uh, okay, uh, it course is designed this course is designed to make us understand Quran. Huh? And you will speak also. When you will know this, you will, some of you will speak much quickly than others. Okay? But the foremost objective is the understanding of Quran. So here we come back, brother. Zahaba Hamidun ilal masjidi. And remember the sequence of verbal centers? Fial. Remember that. And then file, and then there could be a mafulun bihi. Are you with me? But, you know, it will always be in that sequence. So, file has to come after fial. Okay? And if you don't see the file, then what is the possibility? It is mustatir. Especially if the verb is huwa and hiya. If the verb is huwa and hiya, okay. Now I give you another sentence. Since I have, I have done this, let me give you one more sentence, okay. Zahabat. Aminatu. Okay, brother. And wherever she went, whether she went to Yorkdale, or she went to a flea market. I don't know. She went somewhere. Ila dot dot dot. Okay, brother and sister. Ila dot dot dot. She went somewhere. Okay. Okay, brother. 
What kind of a sentence is this? Verbal. Verbal. Analyze it. Where is the verb? Zahaba. And what is next? Tautanisi. Where is the file? Tautanisi. Brother? Aminatu. Aminatu is the file. But this is, it's not mustadir. Never ever say Tautanisi. I got a very weak heart. I'll get heart attack. No tau, it's tau tanisi, it's tau tanisi. What is tau tanisi? It tells you the door of the action was a sister. Okay? So, brother, zahaba, fiel, tau tanisi, and then file. Are you with me? Now I'm changing the, okay. Aminatu, zahabat, Ela dot dot dot. I don't know where she went. She went to Yorkdale. Maybe she went to Fairview Mall or maybe she went to Eaton Center. We'll ask her when she comes back. Okay? Now what kind of a sentence is this? Jumla Ismiya. Very good. What is Aminatu? Mubtada. Okay, brother, we need a khabar. Where is the khabar? Jumla failure has come as a khabar. So then we will analyze it. What we'll say, Sister Salma, we'll say, Aminatu Mubtada. Huh? Zahaba, Zahaba Fial. Tau Tanisi. Then I have to say file. Where is the file? Mustatir. Because I have to look from here onwards. Are you with me? Fial, file, that is the sequence. So, if Zahaba is a fiel, tau tanisi, where is the file? If I don't see it in the sentence, then it is mustatir. Are you with me? I cannot write aminatu, zahabat aminatu. It won't sound nice. So aminatu muptada, zahabat, in that, the damir, hiya, remember, damir hiya goes to amina. Are you with me? Okay. There is a file is mustatir. Okay, brother? File mustatir. File is mustatir. Okay, but file is always a damir. If it is a mustatir, it is a damir. So what kind of a damir is here? Here. here. Huh? Remember, in here, it is huwa. In here, it is here. Okay? Now where does here go to? Amina. Amina jati hai. Because the Damir must go somewhere. And we have to figure out where does the Damir go to. Okay? We will learn about all these things. It's in English it is called antecedent. Antecedent. Okay? Antecedent. Like a, 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 a pronoun must go from where? For the noun which it represents. Are you with me? Fine. So, Aminatu Jumla Ismiya. Mubtada. And then I describe this. Zahaba Fial Tautanisi File Mustatir Ila something Jar Majru. Then I will say Jumla Felia Khabar. Are you with me? Brother, we will be doing so many of them that, trust me, you will all become expert. If you will devote your time for the next seven months, after seven months, brother, you will achieve something that will surprise you. It will change your life. Because now you will understand the Quran, most of it. Okay? So this is it. So, we go to number four again. Aina jala sahamidun. Aina jala sahamidun. Jala sa khalfa mahmudin. Okay, what is jala sa? Fial. Where is the file? Mostatir. Hidden. What is the damir? Huwa. Are you with me? And then khalfa is zarf. And Mahmudin is Mudafile. I do not have to say any more because we are not talking about Khabar. If not Jumla Ismiya. 
Now look at the next sentence. Now next sentence clearly explains you everything. Zahaba ammarun. What is zahaba? Fial. Chumla failure. Fial. Where is the file? Ammarun. Ilal masjidi. Char majroor. Fine. Wow. Ata. What is now jalasa? Fial. Where is the file? Mustatir. See now it is mustatir. It has to be mustatir. Because if you again say jalasa ammarun, it's too much repetition. But jalasa and he said, how will you translate? He said, amamal mirhabi, in front of the mirhab. Amama zarf mirhab mudafili. So I will translate. Ammar went to the masjid and he said, huh? I will say he said in English. Huh? I will use the pronoun. But in Arabic that he is inside the verb. Mustatir, huh? we say huwa. Huh? Actually we say, Sister Manas, we say, Damirun mustatirun taqdiruhu huwa. His estimation is huwa. But it is too early, I will be inshallah telling you and explaining you more and more. Okay? Are you with me brothers and sisters? Now, I still want to continue and show you something different. Huh? I want you to go to page number 10. I hope I remember the proper page. Handout. Handout should be handy. Page number 10. Is it page number 10? Yes. Bus. Page number 10. Now remember brother, so far when I show you my hand, we practice pronouns. What are those pronouns in Arabic? Damirun munfasilun. What are they? Munfasilun. They always come on their own and they come in the beginning. Okay, are you with me? Hua, huma, hum. Hia, huma, hunna. Anta, antuma, antum. Anti, antuma, antunna. Ana, nahnu. So these are the damayr pronouns. We call it munfasilun, detached. Huh? And they are always marfu. And they will come most of the time as a mubtada. Ana mudarisun. Anti talibatun. Anta talibun. Antum tulabun. Are you with me? Nahnu muslimuna. Are you with me? Nahnu muslimuna. Ana muslimun. Anti muslimatun. Anta muslimatun. Antum Muslimuna. Muslimun. Antum Muslimun. Are you with me? So they always come as a Muqtada. And they are always Marfu. Okay. Now, how do I make them Mansu and Majroor? They take a different form. Huh? And can you see? Column number two. From your right, brothers and sisters. From your right, do you see column number two? What do you see there? Hu, Huma, Hum, Ha, Huma, Hunna, Ka, Kuma, Kum, Ki, Kuma, Kunna, Ya Mutakalim, and then Na. That is called Ya Mutakalim, huh? that Ya with a Sukun. Now, brothers and sisters, if I say Kitabu, Muhammadin. What is it, brother? Mudaf, Mudafili. What is the translation? Book of Muhammad. Now, I want to say his book. Book of his. Then I will say, Kitabu. Kitabu. Who? Okay. What kind of a, this is a compound. There are two words, kitabu and who. What kind of a compound is this? <coughs> kitabu Muhammadin was mudaf mudafilihi. So what kind of a compound is this? <coughs> mudaf mudafilihi. What is it? <coughs> what is the translation? If I use of? <coughs> Book of his. Are you? Book of mine. 
book of her. Okay, we can use that, but we say his book. Okay, so kitabuhu is mudaf, mudaf ilihi. What is it? Mudaf, mudaf ilihi. Huh? So in other words, let us come to the rule. Are you with me? If the damir is attached to the noun. What did I say, Brother Salman? If the damir is attached with the noun, the result is mudaf, mudaf ilihi. What is the result? Mudaf, mudaf ilihi. Are you with me? It's very easy. Brother, if the damir is attached to the noun, the result is if the damir is attached to harf jar, the result will be? No, I said harf jar, brother. Jar machinu. Are you with me? See, we are learning something very beautiful. If the damir gets attached to harf jar, so it becomes jar machinu. If the damir is attached to the noun, it becomes muda muda fili. Okay, brothers and sisters. So this is kitab buhu. Now I say min min, and I say al kitab b. Uh, together min al kitab b. Uh, now I want to remove kitab and say who. So what will I say? How many times you have read this in the Quran? Min hum, min huma, min, min ha, uh, min na. So, what is this now, brothers and sisters? Jar majru. What is this? What is this? Jar majru. What is this? Mudaf mudafili. What is this? Mudaf mudafili. So, what is the conclusion? The conclusion is when the damir is attached to the noun. Habadasan, when the damir is attached to the noun, what is the result? Mudafili. When the damir is attached to harf jar, what is the result? Jar majrur. Khalas brother. Are you with me? That's it. Okay. So there are 14 pronouns. How do I do now, brother and sisters? Uh, look at the page. Uh, kitabuhu and then kitabu huma. Kitabu hum, then kitabu ha, kitabu huma, kitabu hunna. Next one, kitabu ka. What is the meaning of kitabu ka? Your book, book of yours. Book of yours. Kitabu ka. Then kitabu kuma, kun, kuma, kitabu kum. Now we come to feminine. Kitabu ki, kitabu ki. Kitabu ki. ki. Fine. What is kitabu ki? Your book. We are telling, you are telling to the sister. Kitabu ki. And then kitabu kuma. And then kitabu kunna. And then my book. What did you do? Ya mutakalam. No, what happened with ya mutakalam? Look at this brother. What is this? Mudaf. And what is this? Mudafilihi. When you attach Ya Mutakalim, what did it do? It brought it down. It became Kitabi. But to me, it is still Kitabu because it is Mudaf. Huh? And Ya Mutakalim brought it down. Kitabi. How will you say our book? Kitabuna. Huh? See in the Quran you say Rabbuna or Rabbana. Okay? Is what is Rabbana and Rabbuna? Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. What, are, what is it? Mudaf ilahi. Huh? Rab, huh? Rabbuna is Mudaf ilahi. Huh? See that ayah, you know, Inna al-lazina kalu Rabbuna allahu. Huh? Rabbuna allahu. Okay? If I write down Rabbun Allahu, brothers and sisters, Rabbuna 
Allahu. Now, what kind of a sentence is this? Huh? No, it is Jumla Ismiya. Where is Mubtada? Rabbu. Not Na. Rabbu. What is Rabbu? Mudaf. Mubtada. And then, Huwa Mudaf. And where is Mudaf Ilahi? Na. Oh, where is the Khabar? Allah. See, this is the way we will understand. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَنَزَّلُوا عَلَيْهِ مَلَائِكَةُ We will study all these sentences and analyze word by word, inshallah. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters? Oh, that we are going to understand later. That will come. Hold your horses. <laughs> it will come, brother Salman. There is so much to learn. And everything is so beautiful. We will learn it, inshallah. Step by step. Huh? Okay. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, let us do this. His pen. Kalamuhu. Then, Kalamuhuma. Now, look at the thing, brother. You can see there. Kalamuhum. Their pen. Kalamuha. Her pen. Kalamuhuma. Two of them. Kalamuhunna. Kalamuka. What is the meaning? Kalamukam, your pen. Kalamukuma. Kalamukum. Kalamuki. Kalamukuma. Kalamukunna. Kalami. Kalamuna. Remember, you got to put Dhamma there. Kalamuna. Kalamuna. Are you with me? Huh? Okay. So this is it, brother. Now we come with min. Huh? There is a half jar, we attach a pronoun. What is the first thing we do? Menhu. Are you with me? Menhu. And next one? Menhuma. And next one? Menhum. And then? Menha. Then? Menhuma. Then? Menhunna. Menka. You got the idea? Menka. Menkuma. Menkum. Menki. Min kuma, min kunna, min ni. What is it? Ya mutakalam came. Min ni and then? Minna. Okay, brother, what is minna? I know that. No. Jar majur, mashallah, brother Salman. Okay, no, sister, the, the damir is attached to the harf char. If the damir is attached to the harf jar, what happens? Jar majrur. So if I say minhu, jar majrur. Are you with me? And if you say minha, jar majrur. If you say minka, jar majrur. Minki, jar majrur. Minni, jar majrur. Minna, jar majrur. Why jar majrur, brother? Because harf jar is attached with the with the uh, damir, okay? Are you with me? Yeah. And if I say to you, Haza masjiduna, what did I say? Haza masjiduna. Okay, what kind of a sentence is this? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Masjidu. Wahua? Mudaf. And where is mudaf Na. Nah. Are you with me, brother? It's very easy. Huh? Inshallah, tomorrow, by tomorrow, we'll practice more. You will be fine. Huh? This is another <coughs> nice thing. We have to do it a little advanced so that when it comes in the lesson, you will understand it beautifully, inshallah. Okay, brother, now we take a break. Huh? And then, uh, after 15 minutes, huh? after 15 minutes, we will study adjectives. We will study adjectives in China. Yeah. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back to the class. We will be learning adjectives, which is called not. Huh? Now, if there is an adjective, then it qualifies a noun. Huh? So we call it noun qualified. Huh? What do you call in Arabic? 
mana ut. Okay, also it's called what is it called? Mausuf. Sifat Mausuf. Not Manaut. But let us only try to concentrate on Nat Manut. Okay? What is Manut? Manut is noun qualified. What is Manaut? Noun qualified. And uh, in English, brothers and sisters, it's different from Arabic. And Arabic is very precise. And when I understood, I said this is a really logical way of qualifying a noun. In English, we say good boy. What is good? Adjective. But it came first. And the boy came afterwards. But in Arabic it will be boy. What about it? It's good. Uh, so adjective will come after the noun. Okay? The noun qualified will come before it. Good boy is in English. Arabic will be boy good. All the time. Boy beautiful. Uh, girl beautiful. Okay? It will come. The adjective will come afterwards. Now, there are four things you have to understand in adjectives. <coughs> there is a special relationship between adjective and noun qualified. Very special relationship. What is the first relationship? Huh? First is gender. What is gender, brothers and sisters? Masculine and feminine. Okay? So if manaut, noun qualified, is mourners, then the adjective will be mourners. If the noun qualified is muzakkar, masculine, the adjective will be masculine. Number one condition. Number, second condition, brothers and sisters. Number. What is it, brother? Number. If the noun qualified is singular, the adjective will be singular. If the noun qualified is dual, the adjective will be dual. If the noun qualified is Plural. The adjective will be plural. plural. Okay, that is the second thing. Okay, and then we have number third condition, brothers and sisters, being definite and indefinite. What is it? Third condition is being definite and indefinite. If the manaut noun qualified is indefinite, the adjective will be indefinite. If it is definite, it will be definite. Are you with me? Okay. And now, brothers and sisters, what is the last huh? case ending? Dun dan din. What is last? Case ending. If the noun qualified manaut is marfu, the adjective will be marfu. If, uh, I will write down here, case ending. Uh, number four is uh, case ending. Uh, if it is, if the noun qualified is mansub, it will be mansub. If the noun qualified is majroor, it will be majroor. Uh, okay, brothers and sisters. Are you following me? Now you watch. <coughs> the adjective not will come after manut. Huh? It will come after manut. Now watch for it. Okay? And keep your pencils ready. I always say uh, using highlighter 
is also an excellent idea. Uh, it helps you to uh, catch it when you are revising. It stands out in front of you. Man hadar rajulu. What is the translation? Who is this man? Who wa Abbasun. What is it? Abba. What is who Abbasun? He is Abbas. So who is Mubtada? What is Abbasun? Khabar. One word. Huh? Mufrat. Fine. Abbasun Tajirun. Abbas is a merchant. Abbas Mubtada. Tajirun. Khabar. Now, Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniyun. What is the translation? Rich man. So rich came in English first. But in Arabic, it will come afterwards. Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniyun. So Ghaniyun came afterwards. So what is Ghaniyun, brothers and sisters? Adjective. What is it? Not. Where is Manut? Where is Manut? Tajirun. Eh? The noun qualified is Tajirun. Now do you see the relationship in this, brother? Tajirun is Muzakkar. Ghaniyun is Muzakkar. Tajirun is indefinite. Ghaniyun is indefinite. Tajirun is marfu. Ghaniyun is marfu. Okay. Tajirun is singular. Ghaniyun is singular. Do you see the relationship? They have a relationship. They follow each other. Okay. Hamidun mudarrisun. Mubtada khabar. Hamidun mudarrisun jadidun. Are you with me? So what is mudarrisun? Manaut. Where is the naat? Jadidun. Can you see the relationship? Uh, inshallah. So please write down this somewhere in your notebook and then you can, you can uh, reflect on it. Because this will help us all the way through book and all the way in the Quran. It will help us. Mahaza. What is this? We don't analyze, only translate. Hada tufahun. This is an apple. At tufahu. Now at tufahu. Brother, hada mubtada tufahun khabar. Now we are talking about the apple. At tufahu. See, mubtada definite. Mubtada will be most of the time definite. At tufahu. What about tufahu? Fakihatun. Ladidatun. Fakihatun. Ladidatun. Okay, now you see. Fakihatun. Tun, tun, tun. Feminine. Huh? So the naat became. Tun, tun, tun. Okay? Ladidatun. Okay? Are you with me, brothers? Yes. Say loudly, sister. The manut will be first. And then the nath will come. In English, the nath comes first and manut comes afterwards. Good man. Huh? Good man. But in, in, Engl- in Arabic will be rajulun tayyibun. Huh? Rajulun tayyibun. So where is manut, sister? Rajulun. Huh? And where is the nath? Tayyibun. Ma zalika, what is that? Zalika usfurun. Zalika usfurun. Okay? The, the, the bird. No, no, say it again, brother. No! What is tofahu? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Fakihatun. Depends. It depends. It can be anywhere. But the relationship is that there will be manut and then there will be anat. Anywhere, brother. Even, even fine can be manut. Huh? Anything can be manut, brother. It has to be a noun. 
that manut can come as a file, can come as a muftada, can come as a khabar, can come as a ism majroor, can come as a mudafilain, and then not will follow. Okay? They, uh, they will always be together. Okay, remember we read in the lesson, I'm sure we read it, Al Madinatul Munawwaratu. Huh? Al Madinatu? Al Munawwaratu. So what is Al Munawwaratu? Not. Oh, where is Manut? Madina. Watch for it, Salman. It's, it's not anyway, it can come anyway. Huh? Uh, what was the sentence? Aina Masjidur Rasulullah. Aina Masjidur Rasulullah. What was the answer? Huwa Huwa Fil Madinati. So what is Fil Madinati? Jar Majru. Now if the Madinati is Manut, the Nath will come. Al Munawwara Ti. Are you with me? Huwa Fil. Watch this brother. Huwa Fil Madinati. Al-Munawwarati. Munawwarati. Now tell me, brother Salman, what is Huwa? Muftada. Where is the khabar? Fil Madina. Jar Majroor. Huh? Okay, what is after Madina? Naat. It describes the Madina. Illuminated city. Munawwarati. Huh? So, Fi Harfchar. Isam Majroor, and then this is Naat. Are you with me? Uh, Sister uh, Maimuna, Fi, Harfshar, Isam Majroor, and this is Naat. Where is Manut? But we won't say who are Manut, like we say who are Mudaf. We won't say who are Manut. We will just straight away say Naat. But we know in our mind where the Manut is, because they must match each other. In these four conditions, in gender, in number, being definite, indefinite, and in the case ending. Where is the case ending? T. T. Got the idea? We will do a lot of exercise. Don't worry, brother. Usfurun, uh, brother and sisters. Sparrow. What is this? Usfurun? Chidya. Sparrow. A small bird. Okay, brother and sister. Al usfuru tairun. See, tairun is muzakkar. Tairun sagirun. Okay, analyze it. Al usfuru mubtida. What is tairun? Khabar. And what is sagirun? Naat. But we don't have to say anything more. But we know that manhud is tairun, and they both agree in these four things, conditions. This is the most beautiful sentence in the book. Most beautiful sentence in the book. Al-Arabiyyatu Lughatun Sahilatun. Brother, believe me, this is true. Huh? You forgot how long it took you to learn English. People from Guyana, they speak from childhood because the English is the only language they speak. But if you are in India, Pakistan, how long it took you to learn English? It took a long time. It, you did not learn in one week or one month. It was years of schooling before you could even, uh, you know, speak. Huh? Okay, brother and sister. But, but as far as I feel, if you work hard, it's very easy. You will understand Quran because that is our objective. Speaking if you understand the foundation of the language, inshallah, you will be able to speak a little bit. But if you happen to go to Middle East, you will pick up very fast, inshallah. Okay. al arbiyatu Mubtada. Okay, look at al arbiyatu Is it Muannas? Yes. So Khabar has to be Muannas. Because Kharba also matches the Mubtada. So Lughatun. Now, what is the next one? Sahalatun. You can say Jamilatun also. No, but, uh, the next page, I you okay, no. Huh? Lugatun. Huh? Sa- so what is Sahalatun? Nah. Oh, where is Manut? 
Zohatun. Can you see it? They are matching? Yes. Huh? Inshallah. Huh? Wow, you are going to the next page. al <laughs> But this is very correct. Logatun Jamilatun. Huh? Arabic is a beautiful language. Arabic is an easy language. Huh? Arabic is an easy language. Arabic is a beautiful language. Ammarun Talibun Mujtahidun. Ammarun is a hard working student. Okay, but Ammarun Muftada. Talibun Khabar. And then Mujtahidun Nahat. Halas. Are you with me, Brother Salman? Is getting there? Inshallah. Mahmudun Muftada. Talibun Khabar. Kaslanu, lazy. Okay? So what is Kaslanu? Not. Not. Huh? Where is Manut? Talibun. But then, it is Talibun. And it is not Kaslanun, it's Kaslanu. Because it is a diptor. What is it? Diptor. It's the same thing. It cannot have Tanmi. Huh? So it is Kaslanu. But it is Marfu. It is singular. It is indefinite. It is masculine. Mananta. Who are you? Ananta Talibun. I am a student. Ananta Talibun Jadidun. Naam. Ana Talibun Jadidun. Fine, brothers and sisters. Ana Talibun Khabar. Jadidun. Na. Khalas. That's it. Where is Manut? Talib. But we don't have to say, we understand. Huh? Because they match each other. Fine. Ikra waktu. Read and write. Muhammadun Talibun Kadimun. See? Muhammadun Talibun Kadimun. Muhammad is an old student. Okay? Fine. Azalika Rajalu Mudarisun Jadidun is that part. Huwa tabibun jadidun. Huwa muftida tabibun khabar jadidun naat. Do you see the match? Inshallah. Abbasun tajirun shahirun. What is shahirun, brothers and sisters? Famous. Famous. It is a naat. Where is manut? Tajirun. Where is naat? Shahirun. Famous. Okay. Al Inglesiatu English. What about English? Logatun Sabatun. What is Sabatun? Difficult. So Sabatun is the nath for English. And it is true. It is true. Al Inglesiatu Logatun Logatun Sabatun. And it is true, brother. Okay. Bilalun Muhandisun Kabirun. Bilal is a big engineer. Huh? So Kabirun is your nat. Okay? Ana Rajulun Fakirun. I am a poor man. Huh? Sister Mamuna, you have a question, sister? You mix hmm? in a, you skip in some side. Did I? Did I? I beg your pardon. Oh, 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 I, I beg your pardon. Hada Darsun Sahlun. She Darsun is Muzakar, Sahlun, Muzakar. Hada Muftada. No, Khabar. See, Badar has to come with Hada Darsu. Are you with me? Okay, look at this, brother. Let me write it, huh? Let me write it. Haza Darsun Sahlun. Okay. Now, Sister Mamuna, what is Haza? Muptida. What is Darsun? Khaba. And what is Sahlun? Naat. Now I am changing it, huh? Now read it. 
شو سمع منا؟ هذا الدرس سهل. This lesson is easy. Before this is an easy lesson. What is the translation of this? This is an easy lesson. Are you with me? See? Remember Badal and Ismu Shara? The Badal will always be definite. Huh? If it is not definite, it cannot be Badal then. Huh? It has to be definite. Brother Sama? Number three being definite and indefinite. How do we have it? Has that, has that Darusu? Sahal. Sahal. Sahal supposed to be definite? No, I don't want to go in detail. Okay. You know, but I'm some. Know, know, but yeah. It's indefinite. Yeah, indefinite. Yeah. But here there is no not. Oh, okay. And there is no not. Huh? The not came here. Huh? The not manut relationship was here. Huh? Okay? Huh? That is the relationship of not. This is an easy lesson. Now, next one. This lesson okay. is easy. Got the idea? Okay. Yes, Sister Aisha. Yes. Say it loudly, Sister. Uh, yes, you are right, absolutely. Here, Sahalun came as a not. And in this sentence, Sahalun came as a khabar. You got to look at the sentence. Huh? You got to look at the sentence like Sherlock Holmes. Okay? <laughs> Magnifying glass. Huh? Okay? And then you will figure out what's going on. Huh? Inshallah. Now, again, I, I admire Dr. Abdurrahim. You see, this lesson has got two parts. What are they, brothers and sisters? The first part deals with adjectives which are indefinite. Huh? And the second part will deal with the adjectives which are Definitely. See how, how thorough Dr. Abdurrahim is in his vision. No mix up. Let us master indefinite. And then next lesson, the definite will come. Are you with me? So that is the beauty of these books, brothers and sisters. Huh? These books are wonderful, wonderful. At the moment, there is no better book. There are no better books to learn Arabic for non-Arabs. I'm only talking about us. Huh? These are the best books. There is nothing compared to this. Okay? Maybe somebody will write. But when some, somebody will write and when he will write, we will see if we are still alive. <laughs> okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. Hada darsun sahlun. Okay? Okay. Bilalun mohandisun. We did that. Anta rajulun ganiyun. What's the translation? Now, are you a rich man? Are you a rich man? La, ana rajulun fakirun. Okay, ana rajulun fakirun. Al kahiratu Cairo. What about Cairo? Madinatun. That is your khabar. What is kabiratun? Not big city. So Madinatun is manout, and kabiratun is the khabar. Anta mudarisun kadimun? La. Ana mudarisun jadidun. Ana mubtada mudarisun khabar. Jadidun na. Masha'ala. Masha'ala. Ahamidun talibun kaslanu. Single dhamma. Ahamidun talibun kaslanu. La. Huwa talibun mujtahidun. Huwa talibun mujtahidun. Huwa muftida talibun khabar mujtahidun naat. Where is manut? Talibun. See that? Look at them. It matches. Okay, brother. Da. Put in the blanks in the following sentence. Suitable naat. Put in the following sentence. Suitable naat. Khadijatu Talibatun Mujtahidatun Masha'Allah. See, 
now your mind can see how the nath will come mujtahi datun huh? so then you can see talibatun mujtahi datun excellent that was beautiful brother muhammad khalidun tajirun tajirun shahirun is correct ganiyun correct but don't put fakir the tajirs are never fakir <laughs> okay tajirun shahirun is correct and ganiyun will be correct ah ha, 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 ha. what a beautiful sentence al arabiyatun logatun jamilatun or sahlatun ha huh? see nath manut matches ha huh? alhamdulillah al usfuru tairun sagirun at tufahu fakihatun lazizatun mashallah mashallah ana Mudarisun, what do you want to make it? Jadidun or Kadimun, whatever you want to do. Muhammadun, Tabibun, Shahirun, you can say, Kadimun, Jadidun, fine, but now comes Al Inclesiatu. Al Inclesiatu, Logatun, Sabatun. Sabatun means difficult, and it is difficult. Anta Talibun, what do you want to say? Make him old or new? And the Taliban? <laughs> that won't be fair. And the Taliban Mujtahidun? Huh? Naam. And the Taliban Mujtahidun. Al Kahiratu Madinatun Kabiratun. Kabiratun. Kahira is the biggest city, Muslim city in the world, brother. The fil makan il khali fi jumlat il atiyati manautan. Now you got to put manaut here. Huh? But see how beautiful the exercises are. Okay. Al arbiyatu logatun sahalatun. Ana. Whatever you want to say. Do you want to make yourself doctor or engineer or a student or a teacher? Ana. Mohandisun khadimun. Okay. Talibun. Whatever you want to say. Ammarun Tajirun Ghaniyun Hada Kalamun Maksurun Now make it into Badal Hada Kalamun Maksurun Make it Badal Hazal Kalamun Maksurun Now Maksurun is no more Naat It became a Khabar Got the idea? Just like that Inshallah Next one brother Faisalun Talibun Kasla Nu. Single Dhamma. Ikra. Read, brother. You can also write it. Kasla Nu. See, single Dhamma. Lazy. Javanu. Hungry. Javanu is hungry. Okay. And Atshanu. Thirsty. And Gadabanu. Angry. Malanu. Full, full, huh? full, something is full, cup is full. Okay, brother? Ana Javanu, I am hungry. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Javanu. Single Dhamma, remember, single Dhamma, it is diptot. Anta Javanu, what is the translation? Are you hungry? What is the answer? La. Ana. Atshanu. I am thirsty. Mubtida khabar. Okay. Limadha al-mudarisu ghadbanu al-yawma. You have to translate, brother. And give me the reason afterwards. Limadha al-mudarisu ghadbanu. I have an answer also. Limadha al-mudarisu ghadbanu al-yawm. Why is the teacher angry today? Because he did not get in the breakfast halwa puri. His wife forgot to prepare halwa puri for him. Okay? So he became angry. Lima zal mudarrisu ghadabanu al yom. How will you translate? Why is the teacher angry today? Fine. Al kubu. What is al kubu? The cup. Al kubu. Muptada. What is the khabar? Malanu. Single dhamma. Single dhamma. Okay, brothers and sisters? Okay, al kalimatul jadidatul, al logatul 
Shahirun al Madinatu at Tahiru al Yaumu Kaslanu Javanu at Shanu Malanu Ghadbanu al Usfuru. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. I think I will we'll do the next lesson tomorrow, inshallah. And we will continue with the lesson number 10. But the lesson number 10 will have most of the uh, we are doing. And plus, we did something. I want to do a couple of more things, brothers. Okay. I see here. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? Are you ready? <clears throat> we have seven minutes. What did I write down? Ummun, mother. What will you say? Ummuhu. Huh? Okay, what is Ummuhu? Fine. More than that. Mudah, mudah, fili. Why? Whenever a damir is attached to the noun, the result is muda. Are you with me? I think some of the sisters were quick to answer muda, muda, for Mashallah. Antunna mamtas. You are all excellent, alhamdulillah. Antunna mamtazatun. You are all excellent, Mashallah. May Allah increase you in knowledge. And we brothers to us also. Inshallah. But I think you are deliberately giving them a chance to say. Huh? You know it, but you are not saying. Huh? You want sisters to answer so that... Uh, <laughs> but you know also, Inshallah. I am sure you all know it. Okay, 14 pronouns, brothers, quickly. Ummuhu, Ummuhuma, Ummuhum, Ummuha, Ummuhuma, Ummuhunna, Ummuka, Ummukuma, Ummukum, Ummuki. Ummu kuma, ummu kunna, ummi, ummuna. Got the idea? Okay. Now, abu. Abuhu, abuhuma, abuhum, abuha, abuhuma, abuhunna, abuka, abukuma, abukum, abuki, abukuma, abukunna, abi. And then, abuna. Abuna, are you with me? Ahu, Ahuhu, Ahuhuma, Ahuhum, Ahuha, Ahuhuma, Ahuhunna, Ahuka, Ahukuma, Ahukum, Ahuki, Ahukuma, Ahukunna, Ahi, Ahuna. What did we do here, brothers and sisters? We made Muda. And mudafilehi. Are you with me? Mudaf and mudafilehi. Fine. And that damir was in this particular combination, majroor. What was it? Majroor, inshallah. So we will continue this tomorrow, brothers and sisters. And tomorrow, if I get an opportunity, I will write down, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawm I will write down and you will try to analyze it, inshallah. Huh? Huh? Inshallah. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasanatam, wa fil akhirati hasanatam, wa kina adhab al-nahar. Rabbana, hab lana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin, wa ja'alna lil muttaqeen imama. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا وربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا وربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا تكتلنا به وافوانا وغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصر